Doctor Who ratings low gets beat by competition. Hello, I'm Mr. Nelson. This from Cosmic Book News. The Doctor Who ratings are still low, despite an uptick in viewership, and the series fails to beat the competition in the same time slot within the UK. Sunday's episode, Fugitive of the Jadoon, saw 4.21 million viewers tune in, which was better than last week's episode. That was the worst in 31 years, though Doctor Who failed to beat ITV's Dancing on Ice that brought in 4.42 million viewers. Doctor Who also had a nice lead-in on Sunday from the FA Cup, which had 4.59 million viewers. But we now see that 380,000 viewers chose not to watch Doctor Who and may have instead watched Dancing on Ice. In the five episodes that have aired, the series starring 13th Doctor Jodie Whittaker is averaging only... 4.388 million viewers an episode, the lowest of any of the series. Jodie Whittaker has confirmed she will be returning for at least one more season, marking her third. Well, a lot of fans say they're not happy with Doctor Who. They're over at Rotten Tomatoes. They make their views known. The audience score is at 15%. <laughs> Although, this may actually be lower, as Rotten Tomatoes keeps deleting negative fan reviews. Uh, yeah, sometimes it disappears altogether and then suddenly reappears, but it never really gets very high. So, uh, let's see. Uh, one fan said, I have tried and basically forced myself to watch these new episodes of Doctor Who, a show that I used to love. Orphan 55 was a complete joke. But Fugitive completely destroyed it for me. I am done. Breaks my heart that this is what the show has become. Another said, watch almost anything else and it will be better than this. After Moffat left, this entertaining, sophisticated, complex show became something else than Doctor Who. I'm female and I'm okay with gender swap. Pro tip, see Missy. But since when is this an apology for boring, non-twisty, non-inspired plots? And now, it has been even renewed for a 13th season with the same cast. I'm sad and speechless, said a disappointed fan. I didn't think you could get any worse than season 11. <laughs> you fooled me, BBC. But now I'm out. Rest in peace, Doctor Who, said another fan. Why did they even bother to make season 12 after season 11 was such an awful disaster? Toss these writers and give this doctor the chance to shine, recommended a fan. The actress, a.k.a. Doctor, clearly is unfit to continue for a second season with such a poor performance. And not to mention the storyline is just a poor attempt to create a show and clearly says they gave up midway. Bring back the old doctor, reviewed another fan. The writing is just weird. Jodie Whittaker is cringy to watch, and the writing is hard to listen to. I'm still a Doctor Who fan, but I truly have to force myself to watch the newer episodes. I never had to do that before, but with this new showrunner and Doctor, I have to, said another fan. Uh, well, uh, so, so far what we have here, and these are the live views, not the consolidated views that uh, they keep clinging to as to be the salvation. But now keep in mind, the show is a broadcast television show. It is not a streaming show. It is streamed, and you can see it that way. Uh, but, um, you know, a lot of that can count for having only seen two minutes of it. And they, uh, that's a view. <laughs> so, anyway, as of now, Episode 1, Spyfall Part 1, brought in 4.9 million, which is quite the drop. From the first episode of the previous season, of course, that was, you know, the curiosity factor of the first female doctor and all that. Uh, so that remains the highest rating one, and it it dwindled down all through the episodes. Uh, episode 2, Spyfall Part 2, 4.6 million. Yeah, the trend is still a little down there. Episode 3, Orphan 55, 4.19. Well, little uptick there, huh? 
Well, then we follow that with Nikola Tesla's Night of Terror and oh, oh boy. 4.04 million, yeah. Hmm. But then, hey, here comes Fugitive of the Jadoon to give the highest rating yet. 4.21, yes. Uh, of course, you knew the Jadoon would be in there. Uh, that brings back the most popular era of New Who being... David Tennant, yeah. And this show keeps trying to copy David Tennant in so many ways, most notably the Doctor herself, and it's not working. Uh, even rehashing plot lines and whatnot uh, from Tennant's day. No, you, that's not going to work. <laughs> that's not going to work. Uh, because they could just go watch the David Tennant series. There you go. Uh, but uh, And also, of course, Captain Jack showed up. And you would think that would be a, a crowd pleaser for Doctor Who fans until they saw the scene. Yeah, well, he's just there out acting the other companions, of course, and then he's gone. <laughs> it's just, I got the feeling you were fished in. You were. And so that explains, I think, uh, the uptick here for a higher rating for the show. Plus, oh, the big surprise that everyone knew was coming. The Doctor was always a woman. Uh, and, and, and she was black, too. So you got to cover all those bases because, boy, a lot of people aren't happy when Jody's not acknowledging her white privilege. However, this uh, previous unknown incarnation of the Doctor had better have some sort of, uh, I don't know, ailment or what have you because uh, maybe she's diabetic. I, I don't know. Because then the BBC would be guilty of ableism. Yeah. Yeah, man, it's just so hard to cover all the bases, you know. Anyway, there you go, uh, Doctor Who. Gee, I, I, I wonder what's wrong. I wonder what's wrong. Why can't it get higher ratings? Why can't it at least get five million? You know. Well, it's a mystery. It's a mystery. <laughs>